It's Serenity Art Sunday. Welcome to this unique weekly art journey that we take together. You can expect to find here serenity through art, relaxation through art, peace and quiet through art, healing through art, and spirituality in art. I'm a believer in the sacredness of the creative process. Let's start with three deep breaths. Take this moment right now to find something in your home that you love the smell of. I have this lavender scented candle, which I will not light at this moment yet. So, First of all, take a deep breath and breathe in the beautiful fragrance of the present moment. Exhale any worries of the future. Inhale again the beautiful scent of the present moment. Exhale any stress from the past. Once again, inhale the beauty of the present moment. Exhale and relax completely into the present moment. Relaxing your shoulders, your neck muscles. I hope you will join me today on today's special art journey of self-acceptance, self-empowerment, self-love. That's the theme for January. At this time, consider lighting a candle and selecting music that you would like to listen to to help set a relaxing tone for the rest of the creative process. I am using soft chalk pastel pencils, but I encourage you to use whatever art materials that you would like to use, whether that's drawing, painting, or collage, and to create a a creature or thing that will represent your goals, ambitions, intentions, dreams, prayers for the new year. And consider using this for your the cover of your journal, but it doesn't have to be the cover of your journal. It could be the first page in your journal or some other page. Right now, I am drawing, I drew uh, guidelines for the top and bottom margins so that my figure will not get too close to the edges. And then I drew a dot right in the center. And now with the ruler, I I have broken down this figure into very basic shapes to really make it a a very stress-free process in creating a figure. So it's a top it's a triangle for the top part of the torso like a square for the neck an oval for the head and another triangle for the bottom part of the torso then for the legs it's long long elongated triangles and when you make a mistake you, you actually don't even need an eraser well, you could use an eraser or you can often it just works to rub off the soft pastel. Now for this bent leg, it's going to be a little bit different than a regular triangle, but still very simple. If you can just watch what and see what I'm doing. And the figure will not have any uh hands or feet really this will be a very stylized figure
Now the arms are like a, a bent line. You have to decide if you want your arm, the arm going up or down. And it's a two curved lines that meet at a point. And we do not have to worry about hands. And uh, she's standing on a star that says 2021. And then for the hair, just be loose with the kind of hair you'd like, whether it's straight or, or wavy or curly. I hope at this time you will consider subscribing. And if you like what you see, please give it a big thumbs up. And now drawing the fairy wings, which are just simple curved lines. With the top wings going in and the bottom wings starting in the middle and flaring out. and suggesting a skirt. And my inspiration art fairy, of course, has to have a magic wand. And her magic wand is her magic paintbrush. So after drawing the whole figure, the next step, the next step is coloring. And the coloring will be done with flat, flat solid colors. We're not going to worry about shading or anything. And I encourage you to select a color palette, whether it be all cool colors, all warm colors, or all neutral colors. And uh, I am using all cool colors, that's blue, greens, and purples. And I do add accents of pink here and there. I also preserved the outline of the drawing I had drawn in with white and I am leaving those white outlines as I color in because it helps define the shapes better and also creates nice contrast. An option would be to go ahead and go over some of those outlines with a contrasting color. Like for example, the purple legs, I could have gone over with a pink outline. Oh, after coloring in all the shapes, the next step is adding embellishment. And right now I'm adding a dot pattern embellishment to the fairy wings. I could also consider outlining some of the lines on the wings with uh, contrasting colors, like accents of pink. Here, uh, these are meant to be like uh, paint drops of paint, but then I smudge them a little bit to kind of make them look like lights, like the magic wand is uh, emanating magical light. And next I'm using a different kind of soft pastels and this is in the, the brick form and that's best for drawing 
in coloring the background, you use the side, not the point, but the side of the chalks. And I just blend with my fingers and also soften the edges and blending the edges of one color into the next. So this is to create my galaxy type effect. And next, of course, is adding stars in the galaxy. And stars of possibly different sizes. And she is holding a star in her other hand. And dots to suggest stars that are perhaps further away in the galaxy. So again, this is my art inspiration fairy. And um, I'm adding my two words of the year. Maybe you only have one word of the year or you don't have any words of the year, but if you do, I love to always add writing into my um, artwork and my two words of the year are self-love and gratitude. Uh, you, you will need to use fixative on this, but I have chosen to laminate this because I am going to use this as my journal cover and it needs to hold up to the wear and tear. Please consider subscribing and giving a huge thumbs up if you liked what you saw today. But yes, I am. I did laminate this picture so it will hold up to the wear and tear of being a journal cover. And you can see uh, more of the embellishment that I added to the fairy wings. And in fact, in January, the theme is each month will have a different theme. And in January, the theme is self-love, self-acceptance, and empowerment.